Thank you very much. I'm Georgi Chaltikian. I'm professor and head of digital health at uh, Degendorf Institute of Technology. It's a University of Applied Science in Germany, in Bavaria. And uh, we feature a master program, Masters in Digital Health, which is um, interdisciplinary, very international. We enroll students basically from all over the world, um, from uh, nearly 100 nations now worldwide. First and foremost, to, to uh, meet with uh, uh, peers, to meet with colleagues, to learn more. I was also invited to uh, moderate uh, two panels uh, at this um, excellent uh, conference, at this important uh, show. And uh, those, uh, through those panel discussions, we, the experts and the enthusiasts in digital health, because I have to confess it's not only my area of expertise, but it is also a big passion for me. We are here to discuss with colleagues, with like-minded people, what are um, not just the promise, what is not, not just what, what the promises of digital health, but also and perhaps more importantly, what are the, the limitations, the barriers that exist and the challenges that we need to overcome. I used to, to tell my students that uh, they need to develop two mindsets. A mindset of a medical professional or healthcare professional and a mindset of a computer scientist or data scientist. So those who are coming with medical or healthcare background, we do our best to give them a little bit more in uh, computer science and vice versa. Those coming from tech with tech background, we uh, augment their knowledge and skills and competencies in relation to healthcare. It is my belief that uh, digital health is now also developing as, a, as a, not just an area of um, practice, an area of knowledge, but also as a, as a profession. And it is also my belief that we are going to need, uh, and there are also data about it, that there will be a massive need for digital health specialists because uh, all health systems around the world are currently embarking on that process of the digital transformation of healthcare. We speak of really revolutionary tectonic changes in healthcare. What used to be before episodic care, a care that was largely provided by healthcare professionals, by doctors and nurses, without much input uh, by uh, citizens, by patients or informal caregivers. Now this is completely changing into a completely new paradigm that we call 5P medicine. It is predictive medicine, preventive, participatory, personalized and eventually a precision medicine where each individual is going to be treated essentially and not just treated, there will be prevention and management of different conditions based on the individual features of that particular person. Digital health is just in infancy now. It's just, we are just witnessing the dawn of these truly revolutionary changes, a revolutionary transformation that can be compared to probably just, you know, introduction of computers or introduction of, or move from analog to digital. And we are going to witness the um, huge impact of digital health, not just in healthcare, but on, on our entire societies. And digital health is going to have also very significant um, societal impact. It's going to be multiple wearable or even implantable sensor devices. These devices essentially are going to be collecting our health data, data about our body and including also our 
genomics data, data about our genes basically, about the hereditary predispositions, all that data is going to be accumulated and analyzed in real time. And this is why we really need what we call today artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is like a hyped word nowadays. Everybody is speaking about AI and ML, ML or deep learning algorithms. But when we understand the nature of digital transformation of healthcare, it's very easy to imagine that without ability to automate analysis of digital health data, there will be no transformative action. We are already in the phase when we have so much data about health and disease that it will be absolutely impossible for humans to analyze the data and to take optimal and informed decisions about management of our health and uh, especially in disease. But digital health is also everything about prevention, prevention more than in even uh, treating the disease. I, I believe and I am convinced that in the next decades, lives of, of humankind will be dramatically altered by digital health. And it is not just, uh, of course, not just we, the experts, many, many people around the world, from policymakers and to, to business, to society, to patient communities, everybody now understands, apparently, the prospects in digital health, although not everybody really sees the potential. Uh, just a few days ago, we were hosting a conference of our own, our signature conference at European Campus Rottalin, where I'm based, of, Digit of Degendorf Institute of Technology, and that conference is titled DigiHealth Day. And we concluded that conference with, uh, with, with a key message that we should not be taking digital health or AI for granted. We should always be mindful of risks, challenges, and we should be working on overcoming those challenges and those risks. Otherwise, we might not be able to harness the full potential of digital health and even Quite the contrary, we might be even facing some risks associated with improper use of technology. We know that technology, it's, it's impossible to imagine our lives without technology, but we also know, we understand that with misuse or improper use of that technology, um, we will not be where we would like to be. And the risks are quite, quite significant.